going to tell you the story of my go-to guitar. This is a vintage. This was the one with the wee thin pickups, you know, the, the, the mini humbuckers that um, fit into the same kind of slots that uh, P90s fit. The same ones that you find in, um, uh, in some of the Flying Vs and stuff. And, um, or, or is it the, um, the one with the banana, the kind of weird, I hate that shape, the one with the kind of fucking ugly banana fucking headstock. Anyway, it was fine, all, but they were kind of weak and kind of anemic is a good term I always he uh, hear when they describe pickups that are a little bit pesh, anemic. Although they've got a really nice tone. Um, I built... I got a really cheap, um, I think it was a Westfield or something, LP style, and it was fucked up. And then I completely refurbished it and I practiced it to do the paint job and it really it was like wine red and I did the frets, I, you name it, it was absolutely stunning. I even managed to get a really nice, my own way of doing it, like an inlay. Um, I never sold it. I traded it for an Ibanez RG um, baritone with Floyd Rose, massive jumbo fucking frets, absolutely amazing sounding guitar. And at the time I was wanting to do a lot of kind of sludgy doomy stuff. So it was absolutely ideal and I loved it, but my fingers just couldn't cope with it, right? I also had a very distinctive tone. The pickups were absolutely stunning. I wish I could get those pickups and put them in here. They were quite hot, but they were warm. I can't explain it. They were clear, warm and hot hot they were just perfect Some were the ones with I think they had one rail no they had two rails they didn't have the wee um, screw tops um, the wee pole pieces anyway um, so I traded it with a guy um, then I traded that Ibanez for this one um, and I've not put it down since these vintage ones are by far the best uh, but they are perfect I like guitars that absolutely feel right, that do its job really well, but I don't feel precious about it. So don't like, you know, ooh, don't want to like nick it, ding it. I want to just use it. It's a tool. I've got the um, 1960s tribute um, Epiphone right above the camera they're hanging, and I only take it out when I'm recording because I'm precious about it, right? This one I'm not. I can feel that there's a bit of fret sprout happening now which has literally only started happening maybe the last month or so and I've had this one now for probably three or four years but that's no problem because I can fix that in a heartbeat so the one thing I did do was I the first guitar I made um, I bought these vintage pickups these zebra ones they're quite heavy they're about nine nine K roughly that's the cat, oh, by the way. <laughs> it's about 9K, sorry, 9K and about, no, 11 and about 7 or 8. I tested them with a multimeter, with the cable, so not on the, on the pickups themselves, but through the cable. Um, and I like them a lot. They're, I wish they were a little bit hotter, but they're perfect for me. Everything works on this. I mean, the, these are the original... Um, machine heads, um, oh sorry, apologies, um, so everything is original except these, I had to root it out a bit to, to obviously make the space bigger for the, the normal sized um, humbuckers and I completely obviously took the opportunity to take the, uh, to, to swap out the, um, the electronics um, and also what I did was completely make sure that the cavities is um, electronically sealed, um, so it's got a lot of the um, Kind of copper tape on it. Quite a neat job, it was quite interesting. I bloody hate rewiring LPs as you can imagine. What is happening is that because I played so much is that some of the frets are starting to get some wear. Um, but other than that, this is literally my go-to and if I could get another one I'd probably just do it. Kind of these medium, medium 
jumbo with frets. I think they're a bit smaller than medium jumbo. I like medium jumbo to jumbo. What I like about most of the setup that I have now, including the, the bandit which I get got again, is that from the guitar to the pedal board and everything that's happening here, including this, is very flexible. It is not for gent or high gain metal, but it can achieve it if you want to. Setting and playing around with it. The guitar could do any guitar can do it. It's, it's about cutting off lows and stuff like that if you know what you're doing. Point is, I can pretty much do most things. endorsing vintage I just like mine basically and uh, their SG shapes are just as nice I've had the privilege of playing the, the one that's like for 250 on Amazon and GAC sometimes and it's just a clear wood uh, they they don't they feel absolutely solid and quality but they don't feel as solid as a Gibson or um, there's something about it, it just I don't know what it is, but it's it looks and everything is absolutely fine. There's just something it doesn't have that same oof, you know that weight to it. Although it is as heavy, but I can't explain it. There's something about you know when you you feel quality in your hand here. It, I'm not saying it doesn't feel like quality. It's just not at that same level, but it is more than adequate. And I would play this thing for hours. So. Mm -hmm. That's it. Please subscribe. Cheers. Bye.